pry the jar up, they said. They told me, just go further, right up the jar. But there's nothing, there's nothing here. Well, you tell me to ride the jar up. I don't get it. Mm, I had the wrong jar, and I thought that I was recording, but it was paused. So <laughs> you've missed me patting myself in the back and saying I'm a genius because I discovered the set of night. I was told you missed some sweet drip. Oh, bottomless black helm. Cool to the touch. It's bottomless. You can just put all of your gear in here. You, it's a basically a bag of holding. You hold it like a bucket. Don't put it on your head. That will be silly. Flowing lines in the seeming shape of a fingerprint adorn the surface. Ooh. Imprisons the wearer in utterly lightless dark. Bestows upon those born. Bestowed upon those born deep in the ground. Are deigning. What is going on? Today? I just can't read today. What is happening in my brain? Ordaining them as sword hands of night. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Will I die? Will I put, if I put this on? Will I just stop seeing? Let's find out. There is no way I am not putting this thing on. Which is the... There you go. Freaking uh, ring wraith over here. I am off to more from Mordor. Mordor to obliterate Frodo. I'm ready to give you what for, you filthy hobbit. Anyway, what I'm trying to find is the damn stats. What was it again? It was the armor of night. There it is. I was expecting it way, way lower. Uh, lower. That is some ass poise. That is the absolute worst poise I've ever seen. <laughs> it's absolutely atrocious. I mean, you compare it to the uh, armor of solitude and gets blown out of the water but damn it i'm going to be the fanciest knight the fanciest knight knight i it gave me a bit of a brain on on your is aneurysm because it is a night night it's a night of night it looks pretty weirdo, pretty, pretty weird. I am a hipster with skinny jeans on. I am about to order my vanilla latte with two shots of espresso. Well, anyway, I mean, my poise is absolutely destroyed, but maybe if we get one of these and we no longer, like, the, the load is no longer a problem, right? We're going to roll with this maybe put on some some decent pants and uh yeah there you go poise 61 there you are <laughs> it's just pathetic the amount of poise that you sacrifice by just trying to look good but i sacrifice it to the gods of fashion um man are they displeased with this it's just the chess piece, man. The chess piece is just awful. I cannot abide it. I can't take it. It's just the worst chess piece I have ever seen. And man, I have seen your mother in underwear. It is just atrocious. Put me back on this one. Uh, man, heavy, it just requires heavy load. I guess we'll go back to the great charts arsenal. There you are. At least we'll uh, do the weird helmet. The helmet is pretty... Uh, Intimidating. Anyway, I'm not done. There's still this piece of loot that I never was able to reach. Shield of Night. This seems like it may have a more interesting description. A shield warrior to the sword hands of night, casting a bottomless black, from which no light can escape. Basically, your mama's butthole. The outer surface is only semi-corporeal, providing a reliable defense against attacks that are not physical in nature. So it does have a little bit of utility. Unleashes the Dark of Night in view with magic power if used immediately after blocking an incoming attack. Its power is absorbed, bolstering the strength of this skill. That is pretty neat. But why not wield it? I mean, not the greatest physical block I have ever seen. Oh, wow, it's a buckler. It's just, it's just all terrible. <laughs> I hate everything about it. I don't want to ever see it in my life. Ever again. 
I was also told to come see the fellas now that that random seal was Sky broken and I still don't know what the hell his great that room. was about. The fog that vexed my aging faculties has been lifted. Oh, and yeah. folly is better left forgotten. Mikola has cured your Alzheimer's. Once, in an attempt to free Lord Moog from his enchantment, I challenged tender Mikola. Only Excuse to me? have my own heart rather artfully stolen. I knew you not how weak I was. are a servant I that of the Molester. Mastery, even an Empyrean would be within reach of my blade. I could not have been more mistaken. Mikola the Kind is a monster. Pure and A radiant. monster of love, he you mean. He wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. Yeah, is basically, we are going against Slanish. I guess uh, is what they're trying to, s to convey here. Uh, we're not dealing with a, a kindly altruist Righteous type. Punished. I am loath to admit it. But even at this very instant, I wish to run very far away. Indeed. It is an absolute asshole that charms Righteous people tarnished. into loving him. Mikola the kind makes my blood run cold. I am... Um, okay, okay, you're repeating yourself. Do you have new things to give him? kind Mikola's light is gone, but... I stand tall. No, Together, you're squat. We work. You're Together, too stupid to even sta understand that. What the hell's going on? I don't know what to do. Our mother abandoned her brood. She did not love us. We are her children. What should we do? Must we be sad? You should forever? give me all your possessions and go jump off the cliff. Oh man, you actually can't, you can tell him to remain sad forever. Sad forever. Yep, yep. Sad. Join the club. Forever. We're gonna be emo, gonna and put on ever. the black eyeliner, gonna listen to him, the band. I like finding things for you, Lady Letter. Okay, you are for repeating yourself. Let us be sad together. You like uh, finding Goodbye. things, but all I see you is you squat here. Doing absolutely nothing. You are kneeling, I guess. I suppose I should uh, make an allowance for that. All right, let's go talk to some other idiot. Perhaps break them a little bit more forcefully. Get meaner and meaner with every encounter. What do you have to say? Oh, there you are. Good. If you happen to see Lady Leda, tell her that I'm striking out on my own. Don't worry. I've no mind to cross any of you. The guidance of kind Mikola remains etched into my very flesh. It's only... There's something that I must know. What do you intend to look into? Kindly Mikola spoke... ...of the vow he once made with General Radan. And... ...it is here the vow shall be honored. I am a Redmain. I must know the nature of the vow. Okey I'll be doke. out on my own for some time. There's something I must. What have you become? Our enemy. You cannot handle the truth. The truth shall turn you against there me. There is no need for concern. I will be true to my word. Though I do feel a hint of regret, Lady Leda and Honorable Ansbach are of a special breed. How glorious it would have been had we met in battle as sworn enemies. Don't you worry about a thing. For every single for one of you time. is my enemy. If you walk, talk, if you are part of the living or the dead, if you breathe, you have four, six, seventeen legs. All of you count as my foes. I do not respect you in any way whatsoever. And lest you grovel at my feet, I shall put you to my blade. Oh, um... Are you not affected? Even with the spell broken, I'm feeling rather lost. Haunted by memories of St. Trina. Her visage. Her sender. The lore of velvety sleep. Would kindly Mikola chasten me for falling for St. Trina, while knowing that she was the discarded half? The problem is, I, I simply cannot help it. I would sacrifice everything just to gaze upon her one last time. So, what you got to purchase? Absolutely nothing that I want, huh? Well, 
I am a Vadi enjoyer. I am a Elden Ring lore, lore enthusiast. Wouldn't call myself a deeply knowledgeable kind of guy, but I have watched my video or seven of the entire thing with Saint Trina and all that nonsense. Saint Trina is supposed to be a manifestation of Mikola. I mean, this is before the DLC. It was all like what they could gather, all the stuff that was spread. Seems pretty clear that it, there's another duality thing going on. Marika and Radagon, Saint Trina and Mikola. But Mikola has shed the part of himself, I suppose. What you have to say. What remains there to be said? Do you presume us allies even now? Though Mikola's spell is newly broken. And I presume that I seal that confess, randomly broke. The spell mattered little. It's like it was containing Mikola's influence, maybe? And in godhood redeem our rueful clan. Then Marika, That's why everybody was kind of uh, our tree of their own free will. Will at last be from divinity wrenched. And surely I contented I will be. My man thinks he's in a Macbeth or some but similar first, Shakespearean play. Very dramatic, very uh, vengeance. portentous. The Impaler, Mesmer. In vengeance for the fl How could I allow myself to forget? Revenge alone assures me peace of mind. Okay, buddy. You're gonna get a Tony Award very, very soon. Don't worry. Oh, hello. Did you feel it? Mikula the Kind's enchantment appears to have broken. It was Mikula's enchantment. But while my devotion to kindly Mikula remains unchanged, by my troth, I am not so sure about the others. No, wait. Perhaps this is a blessing in disguise. I can wield my sword to cull the undeserving, those unfit to bask in tender Mikula's presence. I should have thought of this earlier. Right. Those of us who don't deserve to be at kindly Mikula's side. I have no freaking idea. More information is needed, Leda. I cannot tell you answers to half sentences that you utter. I don't know what this is about, but uh, I suggest Theolier. He is... He, he really gave me a bad vibe. He is straying, simping, hardcore sending... Hundred dollar super chats, two million Theolier. bits to Saint Trina. Hmm. It's true. All for his devotion feet to pictures. Trina it is just absolutely sea. abysmal. I fear his vows to Mikula the Kind are merely secondary, but for this very reason, Tiolier is incapable of betrayal. Saint Trina's love for kind Mikula is boundless. She is, after all, his other half. Or perhaps her feelings go beyond even that. Even if she was left behind, I doubt her heart would waver. Too much duality going on here. Just too many split personalities in these damn gods. Why can't I have Bob, the good of God of right. prosperity and happiness? Time and they are never well. weird. They just Those give you a, a nice boost to your to confidence when you pray for them, and that's it. The horn scent. On one hand, he trusts Mikula the Kind to bring salvation to his people. With the enchantment lifted, his vengeful passions may once again ignite. But surely he'd be mindful of kindly Mikula's promise. On the other hand, the horn scent does present his own dangers. Perhaps your concerns are well founded after all. Allow me some time to mull it over. Seems to be Mikola's promise is like, cross me and I, and I will spread your body parts throughout the, uh, the, the lands between. Your eye so eyeballs will be in Kaled while your rump is hung from my tree. Anyway, I think I am finally done with the conversations. Pretty interesting. Doesn't make for riveting gameplay, but... I am very much looking forward to going up that ramp with my new helmet full of darkness, barely seeing out of it, not even knowing what I'm up against. In my expedition, though, I did get a few runes, got myself a new level, possibly, but let's just go forward. I really want to go up this path and find out what is in that weird-ass church at the top. Something's attacking me. I am not interested. 
Not interested in fighting wolves. Not interested in fighting weird, horny... Ooh, another one of those, huh? Weird, horny uh, enemies. I just want to... I would like to see the map for one. But I am surrounded by wolves. I cannot stop to unroll a piece of parchment. Are you attacking? Whoa, you're attacking me! <laughs> this is not right. It ain't right. I was not prepared for this onslaught. Uh, I was hoping to get out of combat so I could check out the map. All I want to get is to that stupid ass super church. But a giant fire golem is now being a royal pain in my anus. Is there anything to be done other than just molest some wolves over here? It's so silly to come all the way to these parts. Come on, come on, attack me, buddies. Attack me, I am ready to. Hussa! Okay, that was absolutely pathetic. I hate everything about this. How about you eat? How about you eat? Uh, I got some golden arcs right here. Eat it. That was pathetic. Can you charge it? You can charge it. I guess it goes a little bit further. I mean, it's okay. It's a pretty decent projectile. And the, the cost is negligible. So, it's really not bad. That being said, kind of boring. Just slow moving arcs of light. Whoopee. There's just nothing to be done here. Just kill the pack of wolves for no reason. <laughs> There's no reason whatsoever. The thing is, uh, this fire golem is straight in the path of what we need to do here. So, let's... Uh, Take it seriously, I guess. I guess we're destroying a fire golem. My favorite. My favorite thing to do. Get rid of the poise, I suppose. Give me that giant flame drake talisman. And, uh, I mean, this this hammer is alright. Let's go for it. Hmm. And, of course, we want to get ourselves some nice protection. Flame protect me. And, as well as... The flask. Okay. Let's engage with this horrendous monster. Uh, no, I guess I can't cast while on horseback. Let me just get off my horse. Give me that flame protection. Give me this. And why not a golden bow? All right, buddy. It's you and I yet again. Probably has a, a new move that we can check out. Probably has some kind of nonsense I can do. I can actually jump over here. Buddy, if, if this is not a hint at... Hey, maybe you need to throw something inside. Oh! <laughs> you can definitely throw... Didn't one of the, the fire pots say you can throw this inside of the monster? Are you, like, mortal? I see your life not going down whatsoever. I think this leads me co to conclude. I want... Like, the only way I can do it is with this hefty fire pot. Cannot craft anything, though. Okay, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing zero damage to you, bud. Alright, we're going to reevaluate our... Options, I suppose, because nothing is happening. Pretty infuriating. So I need to get out of combat so I can craft those, those fire pots. Please. Please. It's just wolves as far as the eye can see. There you go. Seven fire pots. Let's go. What a waste of my buffs, but whatever. Go back up there. Dismount. Use my flame protect me. Oh, baby! <laughs> no, not fast enough. Not fast enough. Oh, I think he wasn't fast enough. I am protected. Alright, alright. Good stuff. Alright, bud. Let's see what happens here. Please do not shoot a giant pile of flames on my head. Eat it! 
fellas. <laughs> they're they're willing. going on here nah, there's nothing going on I'm just gonna bypass you completely I cannot tolerate this nonsense we have killed so many of these actually it's just two right two, two of these golems ah, you're just not worth my time well I mean I deemed you worth my time until I realized that uh, there was nothing that I could do to damage you maybe there is some kind of mechanic that I'm not aware of. Maybe I simply need to find more skibbity tree fragments and then I'll be able to tickle him a little bit. That health pool was absolutely ridiculous. Oh yeah, touch the grease. I see the giant super church. That is what I've been so majorly curious about. Let us spend these runes. What the hell did I put myself in front of me for? The, what did I want? More mind? Or did I want the pile of strength that I was hoping for? Let's put ourselves at... Hmm, 25 mind, I guess. This is that what I wanted? I, I forget the plan that I made and then I changed my mind instantly. I'm just fickle like that. There's so many places to go. So many places to go. That looks like some kind of place that is interesting. But no, I want to go. Is up this path, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go up this path. I want to enter that giant super church. Perhaps find absolution for all my sins. These guys. I never even got close to... Hmm, learning the lore about these weirdos. They are protecting the Volcano Manor. They are all, all over that spot. They are all over Kaelid. They are basically everywhere. Like Kaelid and uh, uh, the Carrion area. I forget what the name of it is. The swamp around it. The Liurnia Lakes. Like they are all over there. They are just uh, uh, automatons that work for some faction. And I have no idea which one it is. Cathedras... Cathedral of Manus Metir. All right, we have some light, for I am blind to the wonders of this cathedral, and of course we're going to grab Lost Grace. Mm, bring it on, bitches! Or let's open up these doors and start slaughtering all of these devout faithful. I hate each and every one of these damn churchgoers. Oh, look! Some kind of figure of authority. Let's rebel! Let me slow walk to destroy you. You're quivering in your panties, aren't you? You're just absolutely obliterated by fear. As butthole! Look at this. Look at this sight. An absolute ch chad just coming to de dethrone you, you filthy garbage oligarch. Well... Oh, it's a, a dude. <laughs> I am Emir. Welcome to Manus Meta. It is a pleasure to have you. In lands so forsaken as these, chance encounters are precious indeed. Seeing that we have come Would you please give me something to kill, though? Day, allow me to mark the occasion with a modest offering. Of blood, I would like to kill something. Whole Lady Necklace. Look, buddy. Look, buddy. This makes me feel very uncomfortable. Ruins map. I'm up to old ruins received. Check the inventory. All right, all right. A simple old map, fitted and dirty, acquired from Count Emir, High Priest, indicates the location of hallowed ruin. I only wish to be of service. I understand nothing. <laughs> I mean, I guess you match it to the map. I wish there was like a, a way to blow it up to the full screen. You match it to what the map looks like. A pale blue necklace made, made from a thin elongated stone hollowed out from the inside. Use as at a 
Hallowed ruin to sound a hanging bell. It was a teaching of Count Emer. The fate of the one who sounds the hanging bell will be guided by the stars. Hmm. Well, I guess you are supposed to match it. Seems to be like a, a ring of stones. But I don't think we have come across such a location just yet. I don't think it's on the map right now. This looks a little similar, but I don't think it's anywhere here. This looks a little similar, but I don't think it's there. I guess I'll keep my eyes peeled. Yeah, what else do you have to say? The map I gave you charts the site of a hallowed ruin. I look forward to looting everything of it. Sounding the hanging bell there. One's fate will be guided by the stars. I'll desecrate every corner, squat service. and take a dump help on every altar. For their purpose. I'm not mistaken, am I? I can see it in your eyes. You are a fighter. Are you not? I mean, you don't need to look at my eyes. You just need to look at the giant club I carry to destroy the skulls of my enemies. Is something I've given you a map? A white oh, eye oh, for oh. power. Oh, you're actually, okay. <laughs> Glintstone sorcery? I am a glintstone sorcerer. Oh, really? Stone Where's your head crystal tumor? And you must not be very good at it. Are you familiar with our findings? Long ago, we began as stardust, born of a great rupture far across the skies. We, too, are children of the greater will. Is that not divine? Is that not sublime? And yet... You're a nerd. Can fathom its you sure speak a lot. I see you have a whole bunch of incantations. I mean, uh, spells. I'll buy them all, baby. Oh, Never yes. to use Do them again. Your feet. You wouldn't want to hurt the little boy. The little boy? Show me to him. I have base needs that need to be sated. I haven't played hide and seek in so long. Or what do you think? Hidden pass. Uh, you, you lie. <laughs> I hidden path there. All right, let me explore this silly church. Seems like there's no combat, so I'll tell you what I did. There truly is absolutely nothing except this exit over here. So I guess we'll go out this way, and maybe there will be something interesting. Let's see what people say at the exit. Merchant ahead. Map required ahead, and then seek night. Seek night. You know what? You know what? Let's make it nightfall. Oh! Now that it's night, this fella is right here. We're wearing matching helmets. I have no interest in small talk. It's a lady. My only concerns are the I am ready to simp for you. Emir. Will you give me and your you sword? Are not among them. Oh. Well, if you're gonna give me the cold shoulder, I'll give you the cold steel on my on my shoulder. Only there is one thing I will say. Okay, okay. Count Emir's kindness. Me a little bit warming up to. Should you cross him, you will sorely regret it. How can I cross someone that I never owed any loyalty to? Every one of you is my vassal. Be gone. There Excuse is nothing me? more to say. I shall meet you in the field of battle, where I shall defile your butthole the same way I defiled everything in the lands between. Do you have any idea how many curses I put in the dung eater's butt? Do you have any idea? How badly my breath smells. I will look forward to showing you when you're tied up in my dungeon. Alright, well, we'll just go out this way, I suppose. The guy was pointing out this way, but, uh, you know, don't believe the messengers. They're all full of shit. This is literally nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing out here. What a disappointment of a church I was I had high hopes of it being some kind of mini dungeon something interesting but no just absolutely nothing I guess we'll just go back and then uh, maybe go down to this area over here yeah 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 <laughs> an ordinary goat has attacked me I apologize a few a few dogs scattered over here we have to say be wary of dog all right get out of here I will uh, let you to you fellas to tell me, hey, you missed this at the church area. It wasn't as barren as you thought. There is some starlight over here. All right. Let's 
Starlight shards. How wonderful. Ah, so Master Labe. Therefore, beautiful. There's um, a tower over there. All right, well, uh, there was absolutely nothing for me to do here other than to talk to some idiot sitting on a throne with delusions of grandeur, really loves his own the sound of his own voice. Other than that, we met a possible a possible enemies to lovers kind of story. She was cold, but I think we can bring her around. We just need to gyrate our giant rump in her face long enough to break her down. Anyway, we're just going to uh, go the other side of the side of Grace. How about that? Well, that's a tower I never uh, explored. I never even saw it there before. <laughs> and it was like next to the side of Grace. Let's see what we can find there. But first, this dog must die. You are the unlucky guy that I have chosen to unleash my unbridled fury. You got one of these super jumps, but you gotta find the time waster. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> Is it one of those towers that you need to solve some silly puzzle to get into? Seems to be the case. I was told, hey, maybe uh, you can use Margaret's rune because he has this gigantic hitbox to break the rocks uh, from a distance. Man, I'll find them. Don't worry about it. it se they seem to be really, really easy to find in every instance so far. Anyway, let's go inside. I haven't found the rocks, but I am sure we'll find them soon enough. It's so freaking dark in here. Between nightfall and going indoors. Maybe the rocks are piled up inside of this area. But if it's the same kind of uh, place, there was never any enemies in these kind of places. It was all just... Sold oh! Whoops! <laughs> Alright, it just goes back to the entrance. Much like in the same, the same way that the other uh, towers functioned. Alright, be more careful now. Contraption does not move. Alright. Probably you need to jump all the way to the top with the spirit spring jump. Is that what they're called? And then you'll be able to use the elevator. So basically the entire thing here is finding the pile of rocks. I suppose I'll do that. Well, I run around for like five minutes, completely unable to find this thing. I give up. So <laughs> I just keep on running forward. What do you want me to do about it? I, uh, maybe it's in a completely unrelated area. Maybe it's at the top of the cliff and you're supposed to come back. I don't know, but I completely give up. Please, I would like to be entertained by this video game today. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> It'll be great to engage in deadly combat and stop having to use my brain to talk to people, find paths finding items and things. I just want to brainlessly bash monsters until their brains explode. Is it truly that much to ask? I'm a simple video gamer. I just want to kill everybody and laugh as I do it. Let me just give you the light. Oh, oh jeez. What just happened? What is happening? What is this? Is that just a spell from one of these weirdos, or is there a, a monster I should be worried about? Either way, this hammer was the appropriate choice to put them all to rest. Oh man, are you about to explode? You seem way too eager to come back to life, but no, you're just more the same, alright. Between the rain and the darkness, you barely see what the hell is going on in this place? Oh, this just goes over to that fortress. Probably... Eh, probably no entrance, right? Usually this kind of thing just ends in a wall. Especially considering... I saw a very ominous archway at the bottom of this cliff. Might as well get my, myself this red mushroom. How wonderful. Alright, let's go down to the entrance that I saw. I just, you know, from the bottom of the cliff I saw these graves. I had to come visit them, pay my respects, and by paying my respects I mean desecrate all the remains. 
and loot their abandoned bodies. Oh, look, a piece of loot. I get rewarded for my diligent exploration by coming over here and getting myself some blessed bone shards. Oh geez, that's actually deadly trap. Let me go the, the long way around. And so we enter this maw into the fortress. Surprised that uh, they don't take away my horse. Something awful is going to come charging. I know, I know. It's, it's going to roll me down into oblivion. Dastard ahead. Get completely mowed down by a chariot. A rolling boulder. Come on. Come on, Miyazaki. Spawn it already. No? You're not going to do it? Are you just giving me a full sense of security? Is that what's going on here? Uh-huh. <laughs> There's no hidden path, but I still rolled against it. Somebody managed to die here. Uh, you dismount here. How do you die? What the hell chased you down, bud? <laughs> I have no clue, but I have a feeling I'm about to find out. No, it's just a side of grace. Really thought there will be some horrendous monster. He could have uh, succumbed to PvP, it's possible. Shadow Keep, Church District. Well, we have entered the Shadow Keep. It is huge. And there's also another one way down here. I wonder how you reach the bottom of this path. Because these are all just giant cliffs. Even from here, they, it looks a little bit brighter. Uh, the drop seemed prohibitive. But maybe maybe there's a path down on this side. I guess we'll see. Maybe there's also like a tunnel somewhere in here. So I'm not going to put a ton of effort into finding a path when uh, it is possible that we'll find it very easily from this area. What are you people doing? I mean, you went off around the corner and died. <laughs> something, something was awaiting you there. If I jump forward, you may or not may, may not make it. I think you guys are just bad. And you were unable to jump the distance. Why is everybody dying around, the, around this corner? I am so intimidated right now. We're going to put... We're going to put uh, the Golden Val. And some black frame protection. And we're going to go in there with our shield raised. Why is everybody dying? Oh, of course. The ultimate enemy of any Elden Ring player. A hole where an elevator should be. <laughs> of course. What else could be killing people en masse? But a giant hole into the abyss when they expected an elevator to be there. Clearly. That's the final boss of Elden Ring. Gravity. I would like to, you know, interact with the world in a violent manner if you would not mind giving me a nice thing to kill it'll be great i already kill enough crabs when i take my medication shove it right up my vagina so please clearly you can walk through that right those those uh tree trunks are there to be traversed it's not a lure into instant death it feels like this is doable this jump it also feels like they want you to think that it's doable. Well, we're close to a side of grace. What's the worst that can happen? You just die. Not a big deal. Alrighty. What is going on? Oh! Fiery boys. They explode. <laughs> so I staggered it by gently rolling into his anus. So let's use my incredible hammer. To stop you from exploding next to my my butt. Oh, you're another one. Ooh. Quite too close to the exit. <laughs> too close to the hole. Want to drop? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to watch you drop because it looks like maybe like it might be possible to go down there. You know, you could imagine that it is possible to drop in there and not die. So I'm glad that we have conclusive evidence that that is definitely not the case. You will absolutely die. Well, this is upsetting. This is upsetting indeed. Have some rings. Oh, <laughs> that was very dramatic. 
Very traumatic. These rings are ass though. I mean, they're they're so spammable. I like that aspect of them. I like how you can spam the crap out of them, but zero poise damage. You know the usual the usual problem with fast attacks. They don't really prevent the enemy from hitting you. Feels like a dragon is coming down. No, you're not a dragon. You're some weirdo. Very intimidating type of guy. Seems like some kind of developmental disease. Super long limbs. Maybe he's half ape. Either way, have some of these. Let's engage in Mortal Kombat. Oh, you wield the flame of Mesmer. Here. The holy incredible superpower. By the way, we still are wearing the... I mean, it's a good thing to wear. Seems like we are going to be assaulted by flaming bastards all over the place. What is the Ember of Mesmer? Serpentine cord-like Ember material used for crafti crafting items. A remnant of Mesmer flame, the symbol of the Crusade, it continues to smolder as if crawling across the ground. Truly a creepy flame. Creeping toward your ankles ready to give you a burning sensation at the bottom of your feet okay okay something has uh, awakened <laughs> what was that this is a non orlando situation where i'm going to be shot at as i try to walk these paths something's moving there i'm seeing something moving over there ah i see <laughs> <laughs> Some atrocious monstrosity is about to emerge from the depths. And he wants to eat my cranium. I think it's just an on on ominous preview of the monster that we're going to have to fight in this place. Is that reachable? Let's find out. Whoa! Oh yeah, baby. What do you have to say? Seems familiar. Be wary of Archer. Ah, suffering. Didn't expect monstrosity. Seek monster, there it is. Well, you guys know what needs to happen. Am I not carrying a, a bow? I guess not. But for sure, I had a bow equipped. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I did not expect that to do damage to the thing. I thought it was used for show. But it's indeed something you can hurt, and it went away. We scared it away. Clearly, it will never come back to murder me. Okay, so you can go down this way. Seems like a dead end, though. Or you can simply drop. That seems to be the obvious path forward. But uh, a little tricky. Yep. Oh, well, all right. <laughs> This way seems safe enough. Oh man. What shall we find past these arches? I suppose we'll find out in the next episode.